This video is made possible by the following sponsor. Kia ora. Bro, it's me, your future you. That's kind of freaky. I know, man, but I can't talk for long. Get off the couch, go to eit.ac.nz and apply for that program you've always wanted to do. Trust me. I love photography and so I take hundreds of photos if I see the sun sort of setting and the sky is sort of going all orange and the clouds are, you know, looking all beautiful. That, that to me is just something that I'm drawn to and I just want to capture and I think it's because it's, it's so fleeting and it's such a sort of short space of time that that happens. Hi, I'm Phoebe Ganza. I'm an artist, a painter and I live in Wainui in Gisborne. We lived by the coast in England. Um, in North Devon, but it was um, really expensive to buy a house and we basically couldn't afford to stay there. So we decided um, rather than not live by the coast there, we could come to New Zealand and just sort of have a beach lifestyle. I sort of picked up the odd bit of art that I was, you know, doing our little bits and pieces just to keep me kind of creative, but I wasn't really painting or doing anything like that for quite a while. I didn't really get back into that until my third child was, was about 18 months old and then I started to paint again. I had quite bad um, sort of postnatal anxiety um, and yeah I just needed to do something for myself and I found the fact that I hadn't been doing any art was probably something that I needed to bring back into my life so yeah starting to paint and just create something again really gave me a kind of like purpose alongside motherhood because I think when you become a mum you do sort of lose a bit of your identity and you just, I felt like I didn't really have any other skills other than motherhood and because I didn't have a vocation, I just was like, oh my gosh, why have I not done this for so long? And it really kind of brought back um, like a vibrancy to my life that was missing, I think. At the beginning, it wasn't like I wasn't doing it to make it a job. You know, I really just was doing it because I missed it and I loved it. It just so happened that once I started creating and sharing these um, things online and then people started to want to buy them and I sort of realised oh I could actually sort of maybe make this something that's a bit more of a vocation as well as a hobby so I had such small pockets of time whilst my daughter was napping and it wasn't really like I had like five hours and so I think that had been sort of something that had held me back and I kind of had this blockage of like I need to have four or five hours straight to paint and and then I sort of something in me one day just thought actually I, I don't have to I can just paint, do something little you know just anything like in half an hour that's better than nothing and so that was sort of my entry point back into creating again was just doing these quick kind of ink um, paintings that were just really um, they were just really about the process of creating rather than the outcome. It's been really lovely to be a part of the She Shed. The first year that I did it uh, 2019 I was actually in Cheryl's garden I didn't have a studio space then it was pretty much from the proceeds of what I sold during that experience that helped me build this studio here so you know that was a really um, worthwhile experience because then I had my own sort of studio space and um, they then invited me to be a host the following year and yeah it's lovely because you know being an artist is, is obviously like a solitary job you, you are by yourself and um, which I which I don't mind it's great but it's lovely to be able to have this kind of experience once a year where we all kind of get together and obviously we, we touch base throughout the year you know it's not something that happens just a month out it's as soon as this one finishes we start talking about the next one Kia Bro, it's me, your future you. That's kind of freaky. I know, man, but I can't talk for long. Get off the couch, go to eit.ac.nz and apply for that program you've always wanted to do. Trust me.